everybody, it's me, Kristen. I'm reporting here for Schizophrenia.com. And um, I wanted to tell you about this really great book that I just read. Um, you may have heard of it before. They did report on it um, here on Schizophrenia.com a while back. It's called The Center Cannot Hold. And let's see if you can see that. It's by Ellen Sachs. And she is a woman, a remarkable woman. Um, who has schizophrenia. She is also a professor of law and a psychoanalyst and um, an author, obviously. She's written a memoir. This is her memoir. And she's also written several other books. Um, some of them are more technical. Some of them have to uh, pertain more to legal business and stuff like that. But um, this book, her memoir, is about her battle with schizophrenia and um, I just thought it was a wonderful book um, it's very accessible which me meaning you know it's very an, you know a good read it's not filled with a lot of technical jargon or things that people won't understand even if so even if people don't know much about mental illness they could read this book and still learn a lot and um, I'm going to be posting a video um, along with this video about uh, where she's actually giving a, a lecture um, and it's a really good lecture so you should watch it too. Um, so I just wanted to say that the book is really good. It's called The Center Cannot Hold by Ellen Sachs and I actually emailed her and said hi I really love your book and she was very kind and emailed me back and everything and you know was very f friendly and everything like that um, so what I like about the book was that it really gives people hope that you know that you can have schizophrenia and you can still get better you can function um, you can hold down a job stuff like that I mean her case is kind of unusual she's very high functioning um, and she's had a lot of like financial resources to deal with the illness but um, I think it's still valid as a source of hope for people with schizophrenia um, just because I know when I first became ill like in a long time ago um, I'm 34 now and I was uh, like 15 and 16 um, back in the early 90s and late 80s and stuff and there wasn't a lot of information out there that was very hopeful for schizophrenia. You know, doctors still thought that it was like a death sentence or, you know, that it was like the worst. You know, people still today think, oh, it's the worst mental illness there is. But, um, of course, you know, each person has their own experience with the illness and so, you know, I think there's hope for each one of us in our own ways of, in our own ways of leading a fulfilling life. So, oh yeah, so anyway, I really like this book because it gives you hope that, you know, that you can accomplish things even if you have schizophrenia. And, um, I think she really puts a nice you know, like, human face on the disease, too, because, um, she can, in her, in the way she tells her story, it's like, wow, that's just like me, or that's just like this friend I know, or, you know, it's like really relatable to real people, so. Anyway, if you have an extra few dollars, it's like, I, I think you probably get on sale some places, maybe on Amazon or something. Uh, if you have a extra money or get it a used bookstore or a new books or whatever, um, I highly suggest you get this book and um, let me know what you think of it too. Um, I had a good time reading it and I know other people have just really loved the book. Um, I gave a copy to my aunt. She read it in like one day. <laughs> she reads really fast but <laughs> She thought it was a really good read too, and my mom liked it, and 
so I've been sharing it with the people in my life too and we all really like the book and think it's really excellent so anyway I'm going to post the link to her video down here um, on this page and I hope you check it out okay thanks a lot bye